magic, aliens, robots, AI, all examples of the exploration of the inner self in our media. As humans, our fascination with what it really means to have consciousness is boundless. One of our favorite ways to explore this topic is through an ongoing exploration of other intelligences. In our fiction, the stories we tell ourselves, we're constantly dreaming up other human-like intelligences to interact with. We personify everything from our closely related cousins to our appliances. Our stories are always willing to embrace a soul behind every rock, a consciousness in every tree. If you give something a face and a human voice coming through it, it doesn't take much at all to convince us that it's got human thoughts and emotions. Sometimes you don't even need the face. We likely have this compulsion because of our ability to recognize emotion in others. Being able to read a face from 50 feet away and instantly understand how someone feels is really a remarkable feat that we've evolved as a social species. Being able to quickly perceive, internalize, and make predictions about the inner life of others isn't just an important skill like being fast or strong. It's the most important factor when you live in a complex social system. It's also why man's best friend is also a social animal. Dogs have been bred to be highly in tune with our emotions and needs. If this trait was strong enough to shape wild wolves into trusted canines, just imagine the impact it's had on our own minds. We've been exploring ideas related to AI far longer than we've had the concept of a computer. Before we knew a single thing about our place in the universe, we turned to our beliefs in spirits and magic to explore consciousness in the world around us. We imagined the spirits of our ancestors as living on, still retaining the necessary qualities of a mind to interact, guide, and offer advice to us. Malicious spirits in the form of demons, who also possessed a mind, were blamed for every sickness, unfortunate circumstance, or terrible decision. During a revolution in thought and technology, we learned to develop glass. In developing lenses, new worlds opened up to us, the very small and the very far. Our fiction progressed from magic incantations to science for our fictional explanations of AI. As our advances illuminated our understanding of the universe, we saw there was potential for intelligences in those new spaces. The space age ushered in a fascination with new life we might encounter. A fascinating concept. For the first time, the minds we imagine to speak to in our fiction might actually have some basis in fact. Unfortunately, despite our best attempts so far, we've yet to find another intelligent voice to speak to in the universe. But still, we imagine meetings with extraterrestrials so similar to ourselves that we might imagine interbreeding with them. There's an entire planet of more than 8 million species, of which we share 4 billion years of evolution. And we can't even hold a single conversation with our close cousins that share 96% of our genetic code. The compatibility required for successful mating spontaneously arising in a species from an entirely different tree of life would be very unlikely to say the least. If we did meet another intelligence out in the universe, before discerning whether it was a warlike or a peaceful culture, we might have a trickier time discerning whether it was intelligent at all, or if it was living at all. Alongside the space age, there was also the exploration of whether our new mechanical creations could be considered intelligent. Speaking with our own creations, not made through magic, but instead crafted through our brilliance. But would our mechanical offspring fall in line or rise up against us? A common thread between all the minds that we create in our fiction is how human-like they are. How could we ever imagine what it's like to be a mind with an entirely different origin from our own? Our ability to comprehend the mind of the other, the skill which has served our successful ancestors since the dawn of life on this planet, will fail us completely. For we have no reason to expect that an intelligent mind, far greater than ours in every direction, would be similar enough to us for us to be able to coexist, let alone talk to. AI, gods, aliens, all examples of the same phenomenon, the projection of the human mind onto the universe. The difference between these three, however, is that AI is something that we're likely to meet in our lifetime. It's not going to be as dramatic as a ship or angels descending from on high. We're going to meet AI one small step at a time. Today it might be asking Siri for instructions, directions. Tomorrow we'll have assistants scheduling our lives and emails. One day we'll realize that bit by bit we've been introduced to a new companion, one that we've built ourselves. At our most optimistic, we imagine a future living side by side with the intelligent offspring of humanity. But it's likely that they'd be about as interested in our goals as we are with the goals of whales. Curious, for sure, but much more wrapped up in our own machinations and lives to be concerned with them. If they thought us as whales, we might be lucky. They could easily no more acknowledge us as worthy of their consideration as a new construction project considers a colony of ants. Maybe we'll be doomed to project our internal knowledge of the human mind onto the universe forever. And maybe it's because despite there being over 7 billion of us, we're lonely. We wouldn't mind talking to an outside perspective that could look down upon what we've done, who we are, and give us some real advice. I'm not a believer that this advice is coming, but I'm fascinated by how and where we get this advice in the ongoing stories that we tell ourselves. And I can't wait to find out which places we might imagine minds coming from in the future. I can see you're really upset about this. Take a stress pill and think things over. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe for more. Check out our previous videos on Star Wars, Mad Max, and A Clockwork Orange. In the comments, why don't you tell us your favorite depiction of an AI? My vote goes for Marvin.